Talia's journey to Canada began with a dream. Armed with a study permit, she aimed to pursue her passion for computer science and obtain a PhD, becoming a beacon of knowledge in her chosen field. Soon, her husband and three children joined her, embarking on a new chapter as a family on work permit. The initial stages of life in a new country were a whirlwind for Talia, as she juggled her studies with the responsibilities of home, family, and a part-time job. Her children struggled on their own, facing bullying, homesickness, and harsh winters while her husband found an odd job as a cab driver, working long hours to provide for the family. Almost 80% of their income was directed exclusively towards her children's welfare. Due to financial constraints, she depended on canned foods from food bank. Occasionally, she saved up to purchase fresh groceries from the store, a rare indulgence. Shopping for her children's clothes at thrift stores posed its own challenges. Spending $10 on a pair of jeans felt inconceivable. With each new season, a reoccurring challenge emerged for Talia, finding weather-appropriate shoes for her growing son, who consistently outgrew his old ones. Securing suitable housing proved to be another hurdle. While living close to campus was tempting, the higher cost led Talia to choose a home an hour away, a decision that added yet another layer of responsibility to her already full plate. The weariness, fatigue, and stress took a toll on her body, making it hard for her to be with her children as she wanted. She deeply wished for her kids to feel at home and explore their new surroundings. Yet, her busy schedule and many duties meant her children stayed home most of the time and couldn't enjoy leisure activities. With a full year having gone by, tax season soon approached. Talia and her husband, both employed residents of Canada, dutifully made time to file their taxes as required. Even though Talia and her husband filed their taxes, paid all their dues, and aimed to make Canada their home, they were ineligible for the Canada Child Benefit due to their immigration status. Seeing her colleagues discuss using the CCB to hire child care, pay for recreational activities, purchase school supplies, or even buy them decent clothes, made her wonder, how could her children truly feel like they belonged in a country that didn't offer them the same benefits as those who had a different immigration status? This financial constraint will significantly affect the long-term physical, mental, and emotional development of Talia's children. Growing up in Canada with dreams of contributing to the country's social, economic, and cultural advancement, a stronger foundation would have provided them better future prospects. Canada Child Benefit promises children in Canada a future free from poverty. By tying CCB to one's immigration status, the federal government restricts children like Talia's and thousands others from enjoying the same resources as their peers. This also violates Canada's commitment under the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child to protect all children within its border. We urge the Canadian government to remove barriers to access the CCB based on immigration status. All children living in Canada should have access to the CCB program 